How to make shorts fast in Premiere Pro 2024 To make shorts in Premiere Pro 2024, the first thing you want to do is import your video footage. To do so, simply make sure to drag and drop your video footage into the project area here. If you can't see your project window, then you can always click on window here on top, then hover over projects and make sure to click on your project. It should then appear somewhere on your screen depending on your preferences. So let me quickly add some video footage now. I'm simply going to take this drone footage here and drop it into the project area here. Once you have your video in the project area, left click and hold and then drag it onto the timeline. Now the next thing we need to do is to make sure that we have a vertical video format. So after you drop your video footage on the timeline, click on sequence on top and then click on sequence settings. As we are doing a YouTube shorts video, the dimensions that you should choose here are 1080 by 1920 pixels. So under video here, we have to change the dimensions accordingly. We have to do that here under where it says frame size. So here in this first box, we're going to write 1080 and in the second box, enter 1920. Once you have done that, left click somewhere outside of this box here and next to vertical, you should then see 9 to 16. Once that is done, click on OK and then click on OK again. In the program window, you should then see your video footage in the right format. If you need more than one video clip for your YouTube shorts, you can repeat the process from before and simply drag and drop additional footage into the project area here. Just don't forget, once you have it here in the project window, you will still need to drag it from there onto the timeline. So now that we have our video ready here, one really cool thing that you can do now is click on workspaces in the upper right corner of the screen and change this from your current workspace. In my case, this is editing to vertical. Like this you will see your video preview in a much bigger way here on the right side. This is really handy because this will make editing for you so much easier, especially when working with smaller screens. Now it's time for you to edit your YouTube shorts. Under effect controls here on top, you can change the position and the scale. So if you don't like what you currently see in the video preview, you could easily change the position. So for example, I can move it like this or also vertically. Then I could zoom in by increasing the scale or zoom out by decreasing the scale. You generally want to make sure that this whole space here is filled out and there are no black bars. So to achieve that, I would further increase the scale here. For the moment, we're just going to leave it like this. Now, if you would like to add some text to your YouTube shorts in Premiere Pro 2024, go to graphics and titles on top, hover over new layer and then click on text. This will add a new text layer to your video as you can see here. Also on the timeline when you zoom in, you will see this text layer here on a separate video track. From there you can easily adjust the duration by simply dragging it. So let's say I would like to have this play for the first few seconds. I could simply make sure that it extends exactly to two seconds here. To reposition your text now, make sure that the selection tool here is selected. And once that is the case in the program window, you can simply left click and drag your text element here around. You can also easily make the text bigger. Simply hover over one of these white circles here on the edge and then left click and drag. Like this, you can make it bigger or smaller very easily. Once you have your text in the right place, make sure to double click on it and it will then be highlighted in red. You can then type your new text. After editing your text, make sure to left click somewhere outside of the project window so that your text is not highlighted anymore. Now, in most cases, you would like to add more text than that. And an easy way to do that is to simply duplicate this text element here. To duplicate a text element, there's a really easy way to do that. And that is by pressing and holding the option key on your keyboard if you're on a Mac or the alt key if you're on a Windows PC, then left click on your text layer and drag it to the right. And just like that, you have created a copy of your text layer. You can do this as many times as you want. For now, each of these text layers will obviously display the exact same text. So to adjust that, make sure that the blue cursor is positioned on the text layer that you would like to edit. And then in the project window, double click on your text and adjust it accordingly and repeat the process. You have surely noticed that the positioning of these elements is now not ideal anymore, but that is not a problem. Simply make sure to equip the selection tool. You can click on it here in the toolbar or you can simply press V on your keyboard to equip it. And once it is equipped, you can go back here in your project window and simply move the text to the desired location. You can do this now for each text layer. Just always make sure to reposition the blue cursor. If you want to position these elements exactly in the middle of your footage, make sure to press and hold Command on your Mac or Control on your Windows PC and then reposition it towards the middle until you see this red helpline and it snaps in place. Just like that. You can then repeat this process if needed. 
Once you're happy with everything, you can go and export your clip. But before we do that, we also have to set a starting point and an end point for our video. In our case, we would simply like the video to start at the very beginning. So we would take this blue cursor here and just put it at the very beginning of the video. After that, go to markers on top and click on mark in. Then take the blue cursor and put it in a place where you would like the video to stop. Go to markers again on top and select mark out. Now to export your video, if you're on a Mac, press Command and M on your keyboard or Control and M if you're on a Windows PC and this should open up the export settings. If it doesn't open up the export settings, you can also simply click on export here in the upper left corner of the screen. Now it's time for you to set the file name for your YouTube Shorts and for the preset you can usually choose high quality 1080p HD. However, in the preview you can see that this will add black bars to our video and this is definitely not what we want because if you would export it like that and then try to upload it to YouTube as a YouTube Shorts, then YouTube would not recognize this as a Shorts video. So what you have to do after setting the preset here to high quality 1080p HD is to click here where it says video and then click on match source. And just like that, the black bars are gone. For the format, make sure that it says H264. Once all that is set, simply click on export in the lower right corner of the screen. If this video was helpful to you, I would be most grateful if you could smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day guys, bye.